So, uh, so we're on Justice Vineyard property right now, which is owned by the Castiles, uh, Pat Dudley, Ted Castile, and Pat Dudley's sister. So behind us, you've got uh, Bethel Heights Estate, uh, the southeast block and flat block of Bethel Heights, Justice Vineyard, Lumen Vineyard, and up top Temperance Hill, and, and to the east here, Zena Crown and Zenith Vineyard. Um, planted in the early 70s, uh, the Castiles moved here in 77, and uh, I believe that was their first vintage. Uh, Temperance Hill was planted in 82. Um, so we're kind of in the middle southern end of the Yola Amity Hills. Um, elevation is about 550 feet. Uh, mostly volcanic soil here with some sedimentary veins. Right, this is the, the southernmost AVA in the uh, Willamette Valley. So you've got Ribbon Ridge to the north and McMinnville Foothills, etc. Um, the, the things that really separate Yola Amity Hills and the things that we're promoting with working with the AVA is we get these cooling winds from the Van Duzer Corridor and they come through and we get a huge diurnal shift uh, in the evenings, could be as much as 45 and 50 degrees in the summer. Uh, and with the soil types that we have, we get a, a structure and I don't want to say a perfume, but a, an aromatic profile to the wines that we feel is a lot different than the rest of the AVAs uh, in the valley. So that's pretty much the gist of, of where we're at. Um, uh, the AVAs, started um, uh, their discussions on becoming the AVAs uh, in 2002 and came to being in 2006. So in the grand scheme of things, obviously very young, but this is probably the hottest AVA in, in the valley right now with some of the purchases that are going on. There's a lot of planting going on here. There's uh, incredible in investment uh, in the Yola Hills and um, from my days working at St. Innocent, the bulk of the fruit we got was from the Eola Hills. Uh, my first vintage there being 95, we worked with Seven Springs and O'Connor were pretty much the flagships. So that's kind of what I grew up on. And as we started uh, Walter Scott, we decided that uh, this is where we wanted to be and pulled up and, and were able to plant right here. and or put ourselves up here. We haven't been able to plant anything. We still purchase fruit, but it's uh, it's a really, really special place. Uh, a lot of dedicated, committed people who have uh, worked really hard here and we just wanted to become part of that community and, and um, try and bring more uh, recognition to what's happening here. But so, uh, brilliant area.